Hello and uh, welcome to my second video about this machine, thickness planer from Einhell model TCSP204. In my first video I already have done unpacking and installation of all the components of this machine and today we are going to uh, look uh, on the ways how to upgrade this machine for better performance and to see what kind of a quality work can we do with this hobby machine. So let's start. If you are planning to use this machine as a thicknesser and a jointer, then uh, you constantly need to remove this part here, removing this nylon hexagonal nut. And also you need to mount and dismount very often this chip extractor. That means that you need to handle this small M6 nut. Easy solution for this replacement is to use maybe some ring, ringed nut. It can also do the job, but if you have some spare time, you can make your own own knobs. Uh, for this knob here, I use the M6 long nut, one bottle cap, and a hot glue, hot glue gun. I just simply uh, position the nut inside the cap and then fill it with the hot glue. After a few moments. After a few minutes, after the glue cool, cools down, I have a very, this a very nice knob. So let's mount it down here. As you can see, it is very uh, practical for use. For this uh, position here, uh, first I found this uh, plastic part lying somewhere. And I see that uh, it fits very nicely for this position. I use the hot, gla hot glue to fill this hole and then I just uh, place this M6 long nut in together with the bolt inside for the glue not, not to enter the uh, uh, nut inside. And after, it, uh, after a few minutes I just pull the bolt out and I get this very nice knob. It fits very nicely. and makes the job more easier. So, after replacing these two knobs, we are going to continue with our upgrade. Next thing is our uh, rail, our fence. On the back side, we have this handle that help us to lower the uh, fence according to our desires from 0 to 45 degrees if you look at this handle here <coughs> sorry we can use this handle without problem when the fence is in the position of 90 degrees <coughs> but if you want to lower this fence we can see that the handle is uh, hitting the fence uh, this is not a uh, design flaw because the uh, Eichel have come up with the solution to use this handle. Let me just show you. By pressing this handle you can turn it like this and then just continue to tighten it in the desired position. So you can actually tighten the the handle even in, in this position. No, it is not very convenient for for use. Okay, job is done. What we can do in this position is to replace this handle. With this knob. I have made this from M6 bolt. I also use, use the long nut and after that one uh, um, a bigger uh, knob. I welded them together and after that I just put a little color on it. So it's a metal, uh, all, all knob is from metal, it's very hard. Start the end we can use it like this. So, as you can see, manip uh, manipulation with this 
knob is now much much easier. You can replace it if you like it, otherwise you can use the original handle. Okay, we are continue also with the fence. The fence on uh, this machine is made out of uh, sheet metal, it's about 3 mm thick. The measurements are 53 cm by 11 cm high. It is in reinforced in the middle with these two bendings, as you can see. But still, this fence is uh, uh, prone to bending. On the back side of this uh, fence we have a system with a few bolts that give us an opportunity to adjust the bending of this uh, fence. Anyway, uh, two things are bothering me with this fence. First is the uh, uh, angle of this fence. As you can see, because of the bendings uh, on the sheet metal, uh, there is no straight line here on the, this fence. And second thing, uh, because this, which is uh, by me, it's the biggest problem. Uh, this fence cannot be moved uh, left and right. This is the only position for the fence. That way, when we are working with the materials, wood is always coming on this part of the knife, and it is the very edge of the knives. Uh, this part will be uh, become dull very very fast. Uh, what can we do to uh, to make this uh, rail better, this fence better? Solution is very simple. Uh, we are going to use one piece of material, and we are going to place it like this. After that, I am going to put uh, two bolts, one here, one here. And I am going to fix this uh, uh, piece of wood to uh, my rail. Okay, uh, now we are going to check the results of our work. As you can see, angle is now perfect on the front and the back plate. Now I would like to talk about the front and back plate and their position of this planer. Uh, as you know, this planer can be adjusted from uh, 0 to 3 mm depth. And this is the setting for 0 mm on the knives. As you can see, there is a maybe half a millimeter here, space. In this moment, there is no wiggle on the front plate. But if we go down, that is a one millimeter, then you can notice and you can hear the wiggle on this front plate. It is not very big. This is the position at the front. This is near the knives. Difference in my case on my machine is not bigger than one millimeters. Difference here and difference here. As you can hear also if we, if I go down to three millimeters Then this is the position of the plate. It keeps the same difference about one millimeters. And also, wiggle now is gone because the plate is back at the maximum position. Uh, so I have shown you the biggest problem on this machine, that is the position of this front plate. To be precise, the difference between the entry point and the point near the knives. In my case that difference is not very big, I can live with it, it's less than one millimeter, 
But I have seen on internet other cases where the people complaining about differences up to 4 to 5 millimeters. I believe that they have a problem because otherwise they won't complain. My advice is when you are buying this machine, if you are in position, please check this mechanism. It's not so perfect for the adjusting of the front plate and also check the difference of the leveling plate. Okay, now we are going to continue with our upgrades. Next we are going to talk about chip, chip extractor system. Uh, chip extraction system on this, is, on this machine is particularly important because of this safety switch and the amount of the chips that this machine produced. Uh, you need some kind of, of extraction system in order to continue to work with the machine for a longer period. But if you are planning to use a simple vacuum cleaner for the extraction of the chips like I do, then you have a problem because uh, this machine, the exhaust of the chip extractor is 100 mm wide. In that case you need to build some adapter to fit to your vacuum hose. This is my solution that I come up with. I started here with this polypropylene uh, uh, fitting. I used the heat gun and uh, one metal pipe with the same the dimension as my hose. I uh, hit the interior and I use the hose to uh, adjust the, the size of this fitting. After that I use the hot gun also to seal this uh, seat, uh, fitting to the, this drainage pipe. Between these two pieces I have a 50 millimeters of a pipe just stuck between them. And on this side, on this adapter, I have also sealing uh, inserted so that there will be no uh, uh, air uh, leakage. As you can see it's a very nice uh, piece of uh, exhaust. You can adjust the angle of the exhaust. So uh, it is very nice for use. Okay, so uh, the last adjust adjustment that we are going to do today is about this uh, thicknesser. As you can see it is placed below the working surface of a jointer. That is the only possible place. There are a few bad compromises for this solution and now I'm going to tell you what are they. Uh, first, there is no indicator for the depth of the cut. There is only indicator for the height of the uh, piece that you are uh, putting inside. But there is no indicator for how many millimeters you are going to take out of the wood. Second, there is no break on this mechanism for fixing, fixating the plate. It is possible during the work because of the vibration this lever to change the position and the, this, the height of the plate to be changed. And third, the measure of this plate is simply too small. What can we do to fix that? Okay, the simplest solution is to insert one longer board like this and to fix it on the few places and now we have a bigger surface on the entrance and on the exit. With this we can avoid occurrence of the snipe at the end of the wood. But this is not so simple. Let me explain you why. If we start working with the machine in this configuration and we enter the wood into the machine, it is possible for wood to go drift left or right. Then this scenario is also possible, the wood to go sideways and to hit in this bolt here. Then we will have a stuck, in, stuck at wood in the machine and we possible some damage. What is the solution for that? We need to build guide rails from the side. Let's see the original design. So this is the original working uh, surface of this machine. As you can see on the side we have some rails that are protecting the wood to go sideways and to hit the bolts. Uh, this is a good solution and we are going to do the same on our inserted board. I am going to use these aluminium pieces to create some kind of protection from the side so the wood can go only straight. Ok, so I have marked the center of the board and these are the uh, rails 
we are going to place them like this. Next thing, we are going to cut the to mark the recess for the knives. To be exact, 40 millimeters left and right from the center, and five millimeters in depth. It will be something like this. I need to cut this piece. So everything is prepared for fixing the rails to the board. Just to enter the screws. And the last two at the end. Okay, and now just to do the quick test, this is the wood entering the channel, always good. Hmm. Maybe I will grind this part a little bit more. Okay, now it's good. So the one side of the rail is finished, now I'm going to do the other side. Okay, so our lower pl platform is ready. We have a fence from the both sides and we have marked the middle of the board. Now I'm going to insert it in the thicknesser. Okay, just to find the good position. That's okay. <coughs> so I have lifted the uh, lower platform to the maximum just to see if there is any uh, blockage on the movement on the knives. I don't see any uh, problem. I am at the maximum height for this situation. And uh, now I'm going to need to fix this uh, lower board in this position. In order to fix the lower platform, first I'm going to drill three, two holes here and fix this piece of wood to the existing metal and after that I'm going to place the, place the board, find the spot and fix the board to these two pieces. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to apply a little bit of wooden glue here, also at the back. I will Then I will take all the complete jig out and I will fix it with uh, right screws. Okay, uh, so we finished with the upgrades of this machine. Now we are going to test its performance. Uh, for the beginning I have dismounted the additional uh, uh, face where we are going to uh, work with the original configuration and after that I will mount this board here to see if there is any difference in the precision of the uh, uh, working of this machine. So let's start it. Now we are going to measure this piece uh, that we work on. Uh, on the, this side we have 15 millimeters. On this side we have 16 and a half. On this side is 15. And this is also 15. So uh, this piece uh, is a little bit thicker on this place here where the burn is. Uh, we are going to run to the thicknesser and to see the result. Now I want to check the uh, square. As you can see the result is very nice from this side. Let's check the other side. Also perfect. And the third side also. 
Okay, uh, now I'm going to mount the addition to the fan and I'm going to check if there any improvement in the work. So uh, this is our second piece, let's see the result, 14 millimeters, 15, 14, and this side, this is 13 and a half. So uh, I'm struggling to find the right angle for showing you the square. Uh, but you can see that uh, this is perfect. Uh, okay, uh, I would like to give a short resume about this upgrade. Uh, honestly, I don't see any improvement in the quality of work with this addition, but it is much smoother for work when you have this board on the on the plate. So I will keep this as a, my uh, constant option for work when I'm working with this tool. Okay, we finished work with our painter. Now we are going to transfer this machine into work with as a thicknesser. So now our machine is ready to work as a thicknesser. Okay, uh, we are going to try to test this uh, work of this thicknesser with these boards in its original configuration without any upgrades to see if we can bring them to equal dimension. Uh, so this is the result of the work of a thicknesser. As you can see, the dimensions are quite uniform. Uh, surface is smooth. Uh, we are going to test our uh, upgraded platform for a thicknesser with these three boards. As you can see, there is a difference of a few millimeters back and forth on every three boards. We will try to bring them to the same dimension. Okay, so uh, this is a nice angle to show you the result of our work. These bigger boards are done with the extended platform. As you can see, boards are leveled quite nice. Same on the back, across the other side, quite nice. These uh, three smaller boards are done with the original small platform and this is the result. Quite nice also. Diagonally. 
the other way. So uh, I can say that the additional platform uh, didn't improve the precision very much, but the workflow with the bigger boards is much much easier with when the platform is bigger. Also, you uh, reduce the possibility of getting snipe at the end of the boards. Okay, now uh, thank you for watching this video until the end. This is the end. I hope that you like all the upgrades that we've done to our machine. If you like to see more videos from me, please subscribe, share, uh, and anything you like. Leave a comment, that's the best uh, reward for me. Thank you very much once again, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!